Hello. Hello to all the equality children and all the children at Story Band. I'm Auntie B from the Story Band and I'm here to tell you a story today. But before I begin, I want to show you a nice t-shirt that belongs to my daughter. It's an equality t-shirt. Yes. And you know, equality says it's not who you are, a boy or girl. It's what you're interested in. It's a equal world you know the equal sign yeah it's an equal world all right children today's story is from the pratham story weavers platform and the name of the story is who will rescue the princess long long time ago children there was a king his name was veer vadan hello and veer vadan had a daughter, his only daughter, her name was Princess Veera. Yeah, that is Princess Veera. And he loved Veera. Like your daddies love you, right? And he loved her very, very dearly. Dearly means a lot. He loved her a lot, right? Can you say hi to Veer Vadan? Hello, King. Hello. And that's Princess Veera. And then, children, you know what happened one day? The princess was sleeping. Can you all go to sleep with me? And suddenly, there was fire! And there came a ferocious dragon. He looks cute, but he's very ferocious. He came and he abducted the princess abducted means he kidnapped her he took her away and children he took her away on top of a hill yeah he put her in a cage in a cave do you think there were bats in the cave or there were snakes in the cave well no there weren't any but it was really, really scary, right? The ferocious dragon took her away. He abducted her. Children, you know, Princess Veera was extremely brave. She was very, very brave. Yes, a very brave girl. Children, she knew archery. What's archery? Archery is she knew how to use a bow and an arrow. Yes, just like Ramji. Yes. Bhagwan Ramji does that, right? He he has a quiver with uh, arrows in it, yes? So she knew how to use bow and arrow. And she also knew how to use the sword. And... She knew how to ride a horse. Can you do that with me? And children, she knew all the other warfares. After all, she was extremely brave and intelligent princess. But alas, she was trapped. She couldn't do anything to help herself. The dragon wanted to marry her. But she refused. And the dragon was very angry. And so was Princess Vera. She was also very very angry and you know children can i tell you a little rhyme about princess veera yeah princess veera nikalo talwar nikalo talwar nikalo talwar can you clap princess veera nikalo talwar nikalo talwar banao dhar banao dhar dragon par leke zor se maar dragon pe leke zor se maar and children the king Veer Vadan was very, very sad that he announced a big reward for the person who will free the princess. Children, many kings, many princes came from far and wide, but they failed. Yes, children, they could not defeat the dragon. No human could defeat the dragon and Veer Vadan was very sad. <laughs> he was
was so sad, children. But children, in that kingdom, in Veer Vadan's kingdom, there was a little girl. Little girl, like some of you who are watching, yes? Her name was Anushka. What was her name? Anushka. Yeah? This girl, her name was Anushka. She was very beautiful and very intelligent. So she packed up her bags. She sent a note to the king. And she went to defeat the mighty dragon. Yes, children, what a strong girl she is. Yes, when the dragon saw a little girl coming. So, you know, dragon was seeing that who's this tiny little girl coming, who's coming up the hill to, you know, try and, like, you know, probably fight with me. Ha! What will this tiny thing do? How can she be a threat to me? I am the mighty dragon. No king or prince could defeat me. But children, the dragon was not a fool. When Anu reached the top, he roared. Ow! Can you roar with me? Ow! Hey you, who are you? What are you doing here? Anu pretended. Not really, children. So she pretended. She pretended, <laughs> I was just passing by. My mama makes chocolates. She has an urgent delivery that I have to give to the other side of the hill. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to bother you. Oh, mighty dragon, I bow to you. She bowed. I yeah? bow to you. Please, oh, please allow me to go. I will offer you one of my chocolates in return. Now, children, the dragon had heard a lot about the delicious food called chocolates, which the humans used to eat, and he never tasted it. His mouth watered. He grabbed Anu's bag and ate up all the chocolate. Anu smiled victoriously as if she'd won something, victory, yeah? And you know what, children? Anu had mixed sleeping powder, yes! And the dragon felt dizzy and he fell off the hill. So, can we sing a song for Anu here? Yeah? Chota bacha samaj ke isko matang karna re Tipi tipi tap tap Tippy tippy tap tap. Chota bacha samach ke isko matang karna re. Tippy tippy tap tap. And children, the dragon fell dizzy, dizzy, and he fell off the hill. And quickly she went and she opened the door of the cage and they started running, 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 running down. But children, the dragon was too strong to fall asleep. He recovered quickly. And he saw what's happening. Enraged, he made a dash for them. Enraged, he got very angry. But Anu had already informed the king, remember? And the king had reached the bottom of the hill with his entire army. And children, Princess Veera was also very quick. I told you she was very brave, right? So, Princess Veera, you know what she did, children? She took her bow and arrow... And, and she shot the dragon. Oopsie daisy. She wasn't as clumsy as me. She really knew how to do it. She shot the dragon right in the eye. And the dragon fell down. And the soldiers quickly put a net on top of the dragon. And the princess was free. The happy king rewarded Anushka with lots of toys games and chocolates of her choice toys games books of her choice yeah and the king was very proud of anushka and princess veera after all how brave fearless and intelligent they were and anushka and the princess became the best of friends children did you like the story yes do you want to color the dragon I have the dragon on my Facebook page, the story band by Divya Bawa. Tell your mama, papa to quickly give you a printout and you can sit and color it. Bye-bye.